Can anyone else tell that I just took a shower? But anyway, it is time for another random opening scene. So I have no idea people are still doing this, but it's still being promoted on Instagram. So here's me trying to do the Do You Challenge. I wanted to do this because I really always try to just stay true to myself. No matter what crowd I'm in, no matter who I'm with, you know, whatever audience, I just try to be me. All right, enough of that. Intro. What is up guys? I'm Alahi Guerrero, AKA Marvelous and Mexipino. I know this is like a running vlog, but I felt like I should hike because otherwise the call they've been would have been this. But anyway, I am here to talk about my very complicated relationship with running. But if we are to do that, we have to go all the way back to my past, my wretched, wretched past of middle school. Because I started out doing half marathon club in seventh grade and then through that I ended up in cross country in eighth grade and then I did both of those things all throughout high um, into high school. But you gotta be so disciplined to do running. I mean your body's yelling so many things at you such as you know stop or you know I'm in pain and you know wouldn't it just be easier to lie down and let all the other runners and bikers just run over you? But there are so many times back in high school when I would let those uh, things that my body wanted to tell me, there's so many times when I let them come out of me. And me personally, I like to think I was the voice of logic, the voice of reason in my cross country team, but uh, yeah, everyone else thought I was called me more of the voice of pessimism, but because, let me just show you. Woo, come on guys, we can do this, we're almost up this hill, come on, we love running. You guys know this is what dying probably feels like, right? So I joined Half Marathon Club back in when I was in seventh grade because my older sister did it and everyone was, you know, thinking she was really cool and really awesome for doing it. And so I was like, you know what? I need to get into this. I need to get into this. So I did it. I thought it was really fun for reasons that I will explain later. And so then I was like, you know what? This seems fun. We Cross country should be fun as well. It's probably the same thing, right? If I could go back in time, I'd smack myself. But basically, cross country was not the same thing. There are so many differences between cross country and 5Ks, 10Ks, and half marathons, which those I preferred. You know what, L let's do a cross country versus 10Ks, 5Ks, half marathons. You know what, that seems like really unnecessary. Can I just shorten it to like the other races or the other races? Okay, so with cross country, you are sprinting three miles in each race. And most of those races are going to have hills. Sometimes even the races were in the mountains, okay? So, ah. I mean, you had the dust flying in your face. You had maybe wind. You had excessive scorching heat. I mean, the only good thing that I can think of that hat was, you know, back in cross country was that everyone at the starting line was super nice because, you know, we were all in it together. Cause you know, y'all would be at the starting line and you'd be, you know, looking at each other, smile and be like, hey, good job, hey, good luck to you, hey, good job. But right when that gun starts, right when that gun fires, it really is every man for himself. <laughs> I mean, you got people pushing each other, you got people just elbowing, you got people tripping each other. I mean, it's just madness and it's, it's fun because it got me to be aggressive. I mean, that's another, I guess, pro, I guess you could say. <laughs> I would throw people to the ground or push people, but people would be elbowing me. So yeah, we'd all be just getting aggressive and it was, it was nice, you know, to just let all that out uh, through that sport. But a con that easily comes to my mind is that so many coaches would make fun of me because I was short and skinny and just, they didn't, they would use that to motivate their runners. 
And like I said, this is coaches from other schools who would be just looking at me, looking at their runners, and then just be talking trash about me, for instance. Come on, man, come on, man, let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't worry about the tiny, tiny obstacle behind you. Come on, man, you got this. Or sometimes it'd be like, come on, come on, you better run. The dude behind you is a midget. He's got half the legs you have, come on. But you know what? He just made me run even faster. Yeah, it made me be like, oh, pff, I'm gonna pass you because that just, pff, that pissed me off. But I was afraid to slow down or walk in those races because I feel the pressure of letting down my other teammates, my coach, the other parents who were also screaming at me and reminding me of all those things. With the other races though, you could walk, you could slow down, you can even stop. No one would really get on your case for it. I mean, yeah, some people would be like, come on, you know, keep going, you can do it, but that would be it. They'd understand if you, you know, you would have to stop because they'd respect you, which I like that about the other races because you can, you have a lot more liberty. You only have the pressure of yourself. You're not, you know, depending on anyone else. No one's depending on you. The only thing I would say that I actually hate about the other races is that there are people, there are some people, who yell certain things from the sideline while I'm running, such as... Woo! Good job, good job! You're already done with your first two miles, only got 11 more to go! Shut up! Shut up! I do not want to hear about math while I am running, while I'm sweating and just working my butt off to do this race. I do not want to hear it. I am just one of those people who just... That does not encourage me at all. Okay, back to the pros. So a pro of the other races is that you can wear headphones and listen to music while you run, which I strongly recommend because if I don't have music, it's going to be a long, long race. Whether, whether again, it be you're doing just a 5K or 10K, half marathon, full marathon, you're going to want music to help just... I like to tune everything out, you know, but then again, that puts me at risk for getting run over by another biker or runner. You see, but in cross country, they don't let you wear headphones because they say, at least what I've heard is that they don't, they prohibit it because it can be used as a weapon against the other runners. You know, now that I think about it, it's actually kind of funny because <laughs> I could just imagine me charging at the other runners with the headphones like, Thank God I made it to the shady spots, okay. Okay, so I guess a con of running in general is that nobody looks good when running. Let me just say that, which makes sense because I mean, you're thinking about how to stay in the race. You're not thinking about how good can I look for the cameras or you know, whoever's watching on the sidelines. Yeah, I learned that lesson the hard way my first year of cross country actually, when I got shown pictures of me doing pretty much this. My advice, be as excessively photogenic as you can, when you see a camera at least. Alright, another con of running in general is your hair. Or at least the wind hair, look. You do not want to be running with this happening. Because again, people are going to be taking pictures of you. People are going to be looking at you. They're going to be looking back and be like, oh my god, that guy looks like he's wearing a toupee. The solutions, either just completely cut it off, shave it, buzz it, whatever, or wear a hat to keep it all nice and compact. I'm starting to really hate this hat though. A lot of the races are always in the scorching heat. And so it sucks trying to do exercise in blazing heat, blinding sunshine, might I remind y'all. So the only other option is to run in the morning. I love waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning and go run in the freezing cold. And then come home with hundreds of bug corpses smeared on my face. <laughs> okay, y'all get my point. But I guess I should kind of end with some positive note or whatever.
So a lot of people will say that going uphill sucks, but downhill is the reward. They are lying, because downhill is arguably just as bad. Because, like, when you're going downhill, your body just wants to fly down the hill, but your mind is afraid that if you do that, you're going to just face plant into the ground. My solution? Just do everyone a favor and throw yourself down the hill. Like they do in Princess Bride. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. I have no regrets of doing that. That hurt so good, I almost bled. I, per I think I am bleeding just a little bit, but it was totally worth it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys. Yeah, you don't want that in the newspaper or headlining the school newspaper. I'll let you stuff.